Welcome. This video will explain what you need to do to pass and apply for minor and major awards at level 2 and 3. To apply for an award at level 2, you need to get all the squares on the path filled in and then the top square on the path becomes available. When you click on this square, you start the summative assessment which shows us that you can do everything needed to get an award. The pass mark for a summative assessment is 100%. For two awards you need to do a little bit more. When you complete the writing or listening and speaking summative assessment, you will then need to go to the portfolio. To get there, click on the portfolio button on the menu to the left. To receive your writing award, you need to write five sentences on a sheet of paper and post them to us. For listening and speaking, you need to call our free phone number and talk to one of our operators. If you successfully complete the summative assessment on any level 2 award, we feel you have shown good computer skills, so we allow you to go straight to the summative assessment or computer skills to see if you can get that award too. To apply for an award at level 3, you need to get all the squares on the path filled in then the top square becomes available. When you click on this square, you start the summative assessment. Once you've scored 100% in the summative assessment for an award at level 3, you need to complete some additional activities in your portfolio. Click on the portfolio button on the menu to the left. Now select the award you're working on. Each award is shown by different letters across the top. So. Comms is communications and so on. Each set of letters is explained. Follow the instructions to complete the activities listed. You will have to work with a NALA distance learning tutor on some of the activities. To do this, call us on free phone 1800 20 20 65. If you get a question or questions wrong, on the summative assessment, you have to repeat and pass the relevant lesson or lessons. A black arrow will appear on the learning path to show you which one to start with and all the squares for all lessons you need to repeat will be marked as striped. Once you've passed the lesson or lessons again, you can have another attempt at the summative assessment. In this second go, you will only have to answer the questions relevant to the lessons you've taken again. You don't have to repeat the whole summative assessment. If you get these questions right, you can apply for an award. Once you have completed the summative assessment and all the necessary additional assessment activities for an award at levels 2 or 3, you will notice that the message at the top of that award now changes to Apply for award. This is because you now need to submit your award application form to us. The information on the award submission form is taken from the first form you filled out when you registered on writeon.ie. It is important that the information on this form is accurate now. If the information is not correct, QQI will not accept the application. Make sure you've entered your correct name, address, contact number, PPS number, and date of birth. You must now tick the box to say that you did all the work submitted. NALA checks every submission received before applying to QQI for an award. If you have not done all of the work yourself, you must not apply for the award. When you tick the box, a Submit button appears. Click this button to submit your application to NALA. When we receive your submission, we will check your work on the website and then we will ask QQI for your certificate. We will send it to you or your centre. We normally do this twice a year. 
so there can be a delay of up to six months between completing an award and receiving your certificate. We hope this video helps you. If you have any questions, please contact us on free phone 1800 20 20 65 or email distance at nala.ie. Good luck with your studies.